here at ACO Radio, American Communications Online, or any affiliated stations or websites are not responsible for what guests, hosts, or call-ins may say. All programming is intended for informational and entertainment purposes only. Hello, world. This is T.J. Morris, and you're listening to T.J. Morris CT Radio. Hello, world. We are here on a planet. It has some issues, but, you know, this is our home, and we're going to take care of it. So today I'm going to talk about E.T. Phone Home, and that's from a planet, someone born on the planet, uh, how I would see welcoming new members into the world. And I'm going to call my world uh, T.J. Morris World. <laughs> And my radio show is TJ Mars ET Radio, and I have recently uh, decided to guess, get my friends to help me in an association to run the thing because after seven years of doing this as a hobby, we decided to run a company called American Communications Online, and then I have Advanced Communications Agency, TJ Mars Agency. Work it all together because we have Ace Metaphysical Institute, and uh, we help authors and artists and content providers uh, market who they are as independent uh, entrepreneurs and online, and especially in social media. And I've written some books called How to Social Network Metaphysics and Ace Life Coach. Hopefully, it's helped some people out there. And <clears throat> I'm considered an ET spirit guide, and we'll explain that, but. You know, we're all living through the changes in the cosmos, and we're getting more verbal about being a part of the narrative. And I've noticed that a lot of people are learning that in cyberspace we have these uh, algorithms that pretty much are controlling uh, what we would call fairness in uh, cyberspace. And uh, I've been learning a lot about uh, big companies that have a little more money than I do, uh, Google, Microsoft, Yahoo, AT&T. Uh, then the uh, Facebook, where we all go and post things, and there's Snapchat, and there's all kind of ways, Pinterest, Twitter. And you'll notice people in the narrative that you hear names drop today about them using these tools, and that's all they are is tools. But what are we paying for them? ET Phone Home has a lot to do with uh, what we're creating in space and creative commons and what we think we know and what we share versus – what's being controlled, and uh, a lot of people have that, uh, I don't care, I'm too busy trying to feed my family and stay out of trouble, it's all I can do to get my car to start in the morning, I relate to that, okay, I grew up very less than in ways, I had a family that came out of World War II, and my mother saved paper bags and folded tinfoil to some of my grandparents, so I'm going to talk a little bit about life in the Ascension Age and how things have changed since then. But I asked a couple of my friends to come on that are helping me build my community. <laughs> Excuse me. I've had a spiritual community as Ascension Center since the early uh, 89 to 93 called Ascension Center. And I've had Psychic Network, and I've really been running this ACE Metaphysical Institute for as long as I can remember, and uh, helping authors and graphic artists with my T.J. Morris Publishing. And I have books out there, and I have websites, and uh, I'm getting into my graphic art. I was actually made a artist of Hawaii, and I had to go through some, uh, uh, what one might say, checks and balances. And a friend of mine actually went to the meeting and talked me into it. And thank you, Lois Hoots, who was in here, worked for the state of Hawaii, got me in as a big deal in Hawaii and especially in Waikiki area and on Oahu as a, an artist. But uh, these two people, Janet Carolesson and a mad painter is actually Thomas Becker, but Janet was born Janet Lynn Thompson, but she married Sasha Lesson later on. And uh, that is uh, his professor's name is Alexander Philip Lesson. He really is a PhD in anthropology and has a master's in psychology. And some people couldn't find him because his nickname is Sasha, and anybody that's ever studied with him, especially in Tantra classes under uh, helping and motivating people to feel better about themselves and health and wellness and our uh, hippie age would know him as Sasha. So we'll have Janet talk a little bit about him and her and how they got together with us in the ACE. Uh, we actually had the ACE folk life. There's a lot of folklore and myths and legends, and they cover a lot of that, including the Anunnaki. 
But I uh, ask uh, a mad painter, Thomas Reuben Becker, born in New York, has been raised, basically raised himself in the last 40 or so years in Georgia and raised a family with kids. But he was actually back in the day with the Vietnam War, and uh, he actually was smart enough and could see what was coming in his reality. So he decided to just go ahead and join uh, the United States Navy uh, before the war, or before they came to pick him up at 18. So we'll let him talk a little bit about who he is and how he got with me and uh, how he's gotten to be here because we're this month, June, is our seventh year anniversary of doing T.J. Mars ET Radio as a station and a brand but I've always carried my ACO brand since the beginning for Ace Folklife, for those in anthropology and folklore, because I love myths and legends and learning about life and all the uh, – I love the stories of Titans and, you know, the Sumerians and going back to Gobekli Tepe and all that. And so does uh, Janet and so does Thomas Reuben Becker. And Thomas has signed on to help me not only as our producer of this show – but as the general manager over the station, so we can do maybe more shows. And I used to do seven a week, and I got burnt out. Uh, it's just too hard on me. And uh, he's worked with me for years, and so has Janet. So without further ado, as they say in the business, I will bring them on. So uh, let me grab a mad, a mad uh, Thomas Reuben Becker, better known as a mad painter, right? Can you hear me? Right. Yeah, I can hear you. No problem. How's sound check okay? Yeah, you sound fine. Okay, I don't know why I can't hear you. I guess I ought to turn my volume up on my phone, shouldn't I? All right. Uh, Ken says, <laughs> I think he just said he's here. Uh, so, uh, Janet, uh, let's see, how do I do that? Uh, Ahmed, I just saw he said he's here. Ken did. Uh, but let's. Well, that's uh, great. Yeah, so we may get Ken on. I saw a little box, but it went away. So uh, maybe uh, what I'll do is get you to introduce yourself, and then while Janet's talking, I'll put you on mute and let you see if you can raise him. And if not, I'll call him somehow. It's All right? To keep mute. <laughs> well, go ahead and tell people about yourself, whatever you're willing to share here now that we've got you this big fancy Facebook. Did you memorize any of your stuff we put out there for you on Facebook? <laughs> I, I looked at I don't need to memorize it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I'm just an old hip that's really inquisitive on stuff. I'm a graphic artist. I'm a real artist, too. I do paint pictures, and I make sculptures and uh, jewelry and stuff like that. I do not make money at it. I, I don't try to make money. I believe I've in into sharing most of what I create with the rest of the world, I just like on these uh, – radio shows uh, i'm not interested in making money what i'm interested in is making people think and uh hopefully we can get a lot of people thinking and i think we're on the right track to do this uh we do need to uh let everybody know that what we're trying to create is a non-profit community organization that will benefit the people and bring around disclosure i think that's about it all right. Well, that's a big help. All right. Now, I'm going to put you on mute so you can uh, try to get Ken on here or hopefully track him. You may have to call him, uh, but uh, see what you can do, and then I'll get back in touch with you in a minute. Okay. Janet Carroll Lesson, would you come on and share a little bit about your life? Okay. Um, aloha. <laughs> I'm Janet Carroll Lesson. I'm calling in from Maui, Hawaii, and I've been doing these shows with TJ since 2012. June of 2012, and we've known each other since 93. We, we pieced it together. We were both in uh, Hawaii on the island of Oahu, and I broadcast, and um, I'm, not, I'm not quite the artist that the mad painter is, but I've been dabbling in it, uh, teaching myself some graphic art, and I'd love to have a class with Thomas someday, uh, you know, we we don't never have enough time, <laughs> and the other thing we're doing is these radio shows. Yeah, we're we're not about money, although it costs money to run these things. So we, you know, we're all older and on limited income, and our I mean, I don't go to an organized religion church, so I donate all my time, energy, and money to this um, effort, which is to raise consciousness and bring about 
the golden age of Aquarius is the way to symbol it, but uh, some way that we can balance this planet that's gone haywire and there's the ultra rich and the ultra super poor that are living in the streets and um, so we're we're looking at the whole picture, we're looking at the personal and impersonal and looking to balance it and to get everybody's needs met. And so and the current interpretation of that is money. But some way there's a way back to a balance of reciprocity and sharing and gifting and supporting and loving each other. And that's how we used to do it when we were, you know, primitives just running around in the jungle. So some way we can bring that into the modern age and still be heart centered and loving and kind and um, helping each other and supporting each other and creating a, a viable life for every, for all life on this planet from the biggest species down to these little geckos that run around my house. <laughs> I, have, I have, I live in the jungle in Maui, so I have animals everywhere. They geckos will go, <laughs> and, uh, you know, they come, the, the outside comes inside. I get spiders and, all kinds of interesting creatures in my house. So that's it. Um, back to you, TJ. What do you want to talk about today on today's show? Well, I was just talking to um, Ken, Ken Johnston Sr., who's one of our good friends that does Friday, and he's saying uh, he's working uh, Friday on the program, but uh, I thought he had to – go do the horse show with his wife for tomorrow. So I need clarification on that. So I ask him if he wants to come on here now. And uh, what I believe this show could be about on Thursdays, we were going to just do one topic, Alien Contact Org. But we could bring it together. And uh, let me see, uh, as an author, an artist, and radio show host, the three of us all do our own shows Ahmed, uh, he's talking to me on Facebook, if you know how to grab him, Ken Johnston on Facebook, because I didn't think he could make tomorrow's show. I have feedback for some I, reason. So I'll turn my well, let me see if he's on Skype. I mean, the only way I can get him is on Skype. Yeah, he's oh, on Skype. Skype. I, I can bring him in. All right. He's got his Skype on. All right, we'll try to do that, and then... Uh, We'll let him introduce himself if he gets over here, because he, he normally does Friday with us. We set up a Friday show for Ken Johnston to help us with his uh, topics. Uh, that he's, uh, he, he has joined us. With. You grabbed him? Yeah, he's here with us. Uh, uh, he'll have to put his head shut on, I think. Uh, Ken, okay. can you hear us? Hey, TJ. Why you start? Yes. Ken, I have to uh, do something real quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, so just go through right. your pop back. I have to do something real quick. Are you gonna okay. put your stuff on mute, or you want me to mute you? I'll, I'll mute. I'll mute. Okay. Uh, okay, can you hear me now? I can now. You must have put your headset on. <laughs> yes, I did. Okay. Yes, I did. All right, uh, Ken. Since we, we weren't sure you could come on tomorrow night, because you said Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you're helping Fran with her horse show. So, are you going to be able to make tomorrow right. night? <laughs> Not really. No. I'm like I told okay. you, I'm having brain dropout. So yeah, I'm, okay. I'm here now. That I know. Okay. I'm here right now. <laughs> okay, be in the now. Okay. Well, Ken, go ahead and introduce yourself. This is being live recorded as normal. So people in Facebook can hear you, and people in Blog Talk, iTunes, iHeart, Stitcher, FM Radio, Podbean, all kinds, SoundCloud. So there are people all over that listen to our podcast, so let them know who you are. Tell them a little about yourself, Ken. Well, okay. Um, I was fortunate enough when I no, – uh, no. or if you can hear me. When I got out of the United States Marine Corps back in 1966 – I went to work at NASA at Johnson Space Center in Houston and became one of the first four civilian astronaut consultant pilots uh, on the Apollo program. I was hired by the Grumman Aerospace Corporation to be one of their uh, test pilots for the um, the Apollo lunar modules. And I, I handled that all the way through the whole Apollo program, all the way up to the very last one. I became the director of the data and photo control department at the Lunar Receiving Laboratory, where gave me access to all of the pictures, prints, slides, everything that we took in each one of the missions to the moon. And um, uh, every time some of the scientists 